everyone vasive here welcome disable oh i can poop it pooped this is game we're gonna uh i was gonna say game we're gonna be playing obviously we're gonna be playing it it's there uh but we were uh, i was gifted this by our dear friend winter mute uh for uh over the holidays over christmas sometime um and uh it's been on my wish list it looks kind of cute it gives me very big strong journey vibes um, and I love Journey. I, I think about that game all the time. Like, I want to go back and play it again and just really explore. Because I think I played it, like, one day at the end of a stream, so I kind of got through it pretty quickly while trying to immerse myself. But I want to, like, run around, find stuff, find some friends. Anyway, that that's neither here nor there. But we're going to be playing some Sable today. I don't really know much. I know that your character is on some sort of a, oops, a journey of some sort. Hat journey. Uh, but that's all I really know. And I think you get like a little rocket spaceship pod racer car thing. Yes. Ha. Hot chocolate is hot. Okay. I'm going to let that cool down a bit. Ah! Whoa. Uh. The white flickery. Is that glitching out or is that supposed to whoa is that how it's supposed to look are you guys seeing the white outlines you guys are not seeing the white outlines okay anything that's moving has a weird ghosted white outline oh my god it's awful but you guys don't see it. But holy crap, I do. That's gnarly. Oh, that's some gnarly ghosting. I'm going to see if I can fix that in the, the settings because it's it's awful. It really ruins it. <laughs> or I'll just play with OBS in front of my screen. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, it's just flickering everywhere. Holy crap. Even stuff that's not moving. Oh my god, that looks awful. Okay. Where is settings? Ooh, I remembered to push recording before we actually started playing, but I don't know. That's weird. I turned off adaptive sync and then turned it right back on and the ghosting went away. Now it looks fine. Um, the mouse sensitivity is pretty bollocks right now. Maybe I should play with the controller. Let's see. Let's just see what this is going to be like, huh? Whoa! Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Do not fuck with the... Wait, I can't... I can't choose the controls. Whoa. What the? There it goes. Okay. All right. Maybe we'll play with this. Hi, friend. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Climb mechanic. Look at my flip flops. Took the night off. Are you uh, feeling all right? Whoa. Oh, shit. Can't see. Yeah. Really interesting light art style, huh? Okay. It's like low gravity. Check it out. This has to all be like hand drawn. Can I talk to this thing? All right. Nothing's happening. What we got over here? A button? It's a button. Is the door does not shut. Do you know what the art kind of reminds me of? That one drug trip game I played a long time ago that I couldn't figure out how to get past. Oh, what was it? It was wild though. Wait, stamina. 
Oh, it's that, the triangle. Or diamond, got it. Didn't sleep at all today. Didn't feel like trying to force. I understand that completely. I woke up late again because my sleep schedule, or my, my sleep is just jacked in general. <gasps> Bird. Herb. It's real quiet. I'm going to turn up the sound. There we go. Hello, bird. Can I pet you? Nope. Oh. Is that a giant spider in the distance? I don't like it. Fall damage? Uh-oh. Did I miss out on something? Hi, hey, bird. Two bird. Ah, ah. Wow. Does that not look like a giant spider? Gonna play some magic? Have fun playing some magics, my dude. Hold down, sprint while moving around. You can only sprint while you have enough stamina. Okay. Okay, it's not a spider. Ibex camp. Looks like a sheep up there. There's like a, a stutter in the music. Hey. I can feel Jadie smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. Wait, what? Just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. Is that me thinking to myself or is this person talking to me? I'm nervous and she's softly sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know, you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? I know, I know. I tell Jadidi that I know and that it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you get started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. I'm so afraid. Your hands were like the claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. <laughs> but then I promised you that it was going to be all right. I told you how much I l had loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward and put those little grasping claws in the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Riding a bike through sand is hard. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jotty reaches and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. Oh, that's my name. I take a breath. I think I'm ready. What am I ready for? I thank Jotty for the encouragement and tell her, tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are. Let's get you started. You'll need, you'll need to talk to Halal. And Driss, Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Halal will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun, hmm? I think I might suspect what Jotty's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll seal you off. What if I choose the wrong path? I asked Jotty what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths, Sable. <laughs> or right ones. I'll be glad if you choose to stay with the Abexi. But truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessings. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Halal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to engrave your bike with Sizu. Sizu. But you know how he is. I got a compass. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I use in my... Used on my gliding, an artifact, you might say. 
I take the device in my palm if it's naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on, it's nearly time. Compass. Oh, neat. Jada, you're so itchy. Is that a little robot? It's a post box. Hello, Sable. <laughs> okay. She has a thing. Can I talk to her again? Hello, little glider. Or hello, little glider. It's so strange getting called that. That's big glider to you. What was your gliding like? Yeah, I want to know that. I asked Johnny about her gliding. That must be my, um... My journey thing that I'm doing. Tell you what. I'll tell you when you get back. I cross my arms in protest. Not all you want. I don't want to spoil any surprises. She lowers her voice to a whisper. But I did meet some crystal farmers once. Crystal farmers? And that's all I'll say about that. You should get going. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Hello. How you doing? You got a switch keypad thing. As I approach Halal, he, they give me an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's verve and vigor. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. Halal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hand, but emanating from within. I run my th thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What is it? I try to sound less confused than I am, but I ask Halal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal that I feel... Fuzziness. Then you're doing it right. What you feel is that in that stone is openness. I look at that, or I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there just for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. How do I do that? Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Low clasps. Claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once you're done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hillal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple. So go see Driz. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember J Jotty's words now and tell Hillal I'll go see Driz. Cool. Okay, he won't say anything else. Is there actually no fall damage? Nope. What's the little snake symbol? Driss? Oh. I thought I've told you, told myself not to, or I thought I've told myself not to be too eager. It's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful, or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore, or will I get used to it? Driss trains with a bit of a start. Sable! Uh, uh, hello? How are you today? Ask Driss how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there for a moment. But I can't do it. I'm too keen and all the words spill out. I asked Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike. He yells it like an idea he's just had. Your bike. Yes, of course. Right. Uh, yes, your bike. That does, uh, that's what I meant to, uh, uh, that I prepared for you. I guess today is your gliding. Yes. Driss nods along with me. Yes, of course. Right. Yes, yes. I, I, I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? I wish I mean I arranged it for you in a, uh, well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. Funny. A tutorial? Yes, exactly. A learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must first prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test drive. On a different bike. I think about it and I find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does not, does seem earnest, sort of. So, instead of worrying about your bike, 
I'd like you to try this bike uh, as a test. Just gestures to the sand cutter on the side. It's quite old and a little shabby. I test her if ever I've seen one. What's the bike's name? Seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Are their names personal? Youngster these days always asking questions. Now, ride that bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you. Yup, my young glider. Don't fall off. Don't lose your bike. When you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Okay. Hi, bike friend. <gasps> Look it. Okay, this is kind of cute. Steer, get off, strafe. Cookie time. I thought there was... I heard cookies. What's up, Lonnie? Welcome to the stream. Oh. That's not at all. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Weird. Oh, it's a toggle. Okay, I get it. And I whistle at it to toggle it. That's kind of cool. Interesting. Get a bottom cookie! Whoa. Get us! Come get this cookie. Hey, here you go. Go ahead. Go get that cookie. It's on the bed. Go get that cookie. It's on the bed. Go get it. Oh, you see it. You'll get it. No, it's that time. Come for the cookies. How you doing, Lonnie? Whoa. Didn't I run into a thing? Did I just slowly go backwards? All right. Here we go. Hi, friend. I did it. I returned to Driz, who somehow managed to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Are you on drugs? Stable. Congratulations. How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? I explain hissing, small fires. What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire, even a little bit. Was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Everything sounded normal. Well, the sand cutter must like you. Must like you then. It's usually a little more temperamental with new riders. But you're not even a bit on fire. Have you already been to Hilal? I have. I'd nearly forgotten about Halal and thanked Tris for the reminder. Before at least nudging him a little about the bike, I asked him if I'll be getting one. Well, you're getting the use of the sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And Halal's got something to show you. Help you with more of that, uh, mobility you're after. With my confidence in his exercise only lightly tarnish, I thank Tris very much for his help in his bike and I depart for Halal. I already did that, though. Did I not? I already talked to Halal. I already talked to Halal. Look, he's not even showing up on my map. Can I talk to you? Jotty greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. Tell Jotty how strange it is being called Glider instead of Sable or even Clan Child. Just trying to get you used to it. She seems to really like it. Maybe I like it too. My little Glider. Okay. Hello? Head over to the temple. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so I already talked to Halal. Can I just tell you that? Just ask me a series of increasing strange questions before I make an excuse to take my leave. Okay. We're going to the temple. Which way is the temple? Oh, here you go.
Activate the gliding stone at the altar. Okay. Aha! Is that red thing over there? Whoa. So I'm wondering if I can get like attacked and that's what the strafe is for. Let's go over here. Whoa, whoa. Is that it? That looks kind of temple-ish. Oh, is the sun rising? I think the sun's rising. Whoa, there's a floating balloon. Will this climb this? Nope. Definitely does not. Yuri, get him a cookie. Get a cookie. Professionals have stained it. All right, this looks templish. Wait, is this the temple I came out of? This kind of feels like the temple I came out of, doesn't it? Ugh. Conditioner. Oh. oh, no, no, no. Okay. Shit. What's up, Sal? Welcome to the stream. It's been a minute. You like the sedimentary rock formations? Yeah, it's, it seems pretty chill. I still think I'm going the right way. Maybe not. Something's gonna have to turn left up here. Oh. Hello. Yeah, we miss you too. It's good to see your face. Or the avatar username version of your face. Stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid, exhilarated, or maybe it feels right? I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I'm in her sight. Aha! The stone is glowing. Oh! Ouch. That's my stone. Oh, I thought it was like a big snake or a worm. Oh, it's a DNA helix. We're about to get preggers. Oh, I have color again. Oh. I'm in a force field bubble thing. What the? I'm confusion. Did I just release a bunch of floaty worms? No color again. You think some people are playing Phasmo? I did see that. I thought it started, uh, people were talking about DVD, but it sounds like people switched to Phasmo. Okay. Oh. Oh, bubble. Cool. 
Float bubble. Climb this, please. There you go. Okay, I'm guessing. Whee! I keep trying to double jump. There's no double jump. Secrets? I don't know if there's actually secrets in this game. Oh. There's a glowy thing. Oh, there's a chest. How long can I hold this for? Definite? I want this. I got money? That might be money. Ah! Look. Looked over at chat. What's that? Oh, it's a ladder. Neat. You asked about DVD. They said they wanted to play Phasma, which I'm up for anything. You just want to play? I understand. I'm not gonna be able to make that. Grab. Fuck. Okay. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I saw the, uh, the new patch went out today. Or, uh, I guess not the patch, but beta or the and I just cannot brain today I have the dumb the test branch sounds like they're changing a bunch of stuff like they're thinking about giving uh borrowed time to all survivors just by default as like just a game mechanic now you've been playing seven days to die with dashing ooh how's that going no, no, new tome is out today. Gotcha. Did you see there's a new killer coming? From the ring. The, the original ring. Not, not the American one. Hello, friend. All right, where's my bike? I have Okay, so I have five moons, whatever that is. Twenty diamonds, which is probably money, and zero worms. Tosta! What's up my dude? Welcome to the stream. Ringo. Yes, yes, exactly. You're actually interested in these. I wonder if they're just gonna put like little TVs around the map. Like, I thought it'd be cool if they had, like, little portable TVs on top of the generators. And you, like, as you're fixing a generator, if it turned on, you'd have to be like, fuck! And you'd have to turn it off. You know? That could be interesting. How you doing, my dude? House Kitty. Wait, do I need to go to Halal first? Yeah. Okay. Talk to Halal. Zero on red messages. Someone gonna send me messages? It'd be funny if she just Sparta kicks you down a well. <laughs> I got in the th Blood Bowl 3 closed beta. I saw you posted about that. Kito just turned three months. Nice. Got an Xbox for Christmas, so I'm gonna play back for Blood. Uh, it is crossplay. Heck yeah, dude. 
Back for Blood is fun. I haven't played that in a while. When I return to Halal, it's clear they know that I have just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Safe, like a warm hug. I tell all that I almost feel... I feel almost embraced by the perpetual, warm and safe in my own little bubble. They swoon. Oh, that's such a nice way of describing it. Halal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they laid out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling. Just... Floating on the breeze, you can't do it anymore? I suppose that's the best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might have never come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. Is that really what you do? I think about it. Why not? If I had the power, why not use it? I know people manage to keep up, but I don't know that I've got the same time to practice as much as they do. It takes a, real ser a really serious focus. Hello laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if we were all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that, but decide that there is already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I am saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to have to... You're going to love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice and ask for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and reassurance all in one. I say goodbye to Halal. Before I go, Halal gestures towards the tower. It seems Sizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Probably Sizo, maybe? Ooh, money. Did I just steal money from him? Sorry, dude. Wee. Guess what? I got the shining rock. Ooh. Just asked me a serious and oh, okay. I don't talk to you yet. I talk to Jotty. Hello. Johnny greets me warmly. Oh. Okay. Maybe I need to go up there. Yep. I'm assuming I have to climb this one so I can glide to that one. Ooh. More money. Oh, hello. It's you. I want to get over there, though. Saiza was an outclaner to the Ibexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall. And I think of her more as a kind of a distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts and by their training and their code must go to where they are needed. But Saizo has been among us for so long, it's easy to forget it's an assignment first, foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she's one of us. I think there's a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite ins insular, and that our designation of Ibexi versus Outcliners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who, will leave, who we must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Saizo did. Sable! Ah. Sable! Whoa, hold on. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Better now that I'm getting a bike. Excited for my bike. A bit worried I'm really getting a bike. Excited for my bike! Saizo has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most of the days, and I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes. She said throaty, huh? You already told me how excited you are. 
Besides those sniffs. She also tells me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I tell her I was just clearing my throat. <coughs> I don't bet Roger Driss his, for, for his forgetfulness. Where I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might just be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts yourself. I'm going to make my own? Hell yeah, dude. As size up, I'm expecting to make my own hover bike. Oh, you're going to make your own hover bike. You're going to build your own hover bike. Fuck yeah. What's the difference? To make suggest you are creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Here, take this. Size of hands me navigator. This is the navigator. You will use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. As size of where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships and fragments spread apart. A good start would be to the ship down there near the camp. You'll find another upon the great rock near the other side of the canyon. And another behind the old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a supply, a power supply, and a calibrator. Okay, so this is like future post-apocalyptic stuff, maybe? Do most gliders make their own bikes? Ask size if most gliders really make their own bikes. Only the lucky ones. I tell size or I'll see her soon and head off in search of the components. Together we will create something new out of the old. Hell yeah, dude. I want to go over here, though. Oh! Press to use the navigator to mark interesting landmarks to appear on your compass. You can also add any... Add and remove marker. Fuck, I didn't get to read that. Okay. Can I not move it out any further? Okay. Okay, she shows. Okay, I'm going to key up. Hello, friends. Hi. The balloon was more fun than. The balloon was more fun than the person in it. Someone in there? Hey, dude. I approached the cartographer. Oh, our greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. What's a piece of work, isn't she? It's bigger than I thought. I tried to explain that when I first saw the balloon, I thought it was very small and somewhat far away. But now I see it's quite large and was very far away. I fumbled through the explanation, though, and the cartographer just nods without saying anything. I nod back. Well, good to meet you. And, uh, I should introduce myself. I'm sure Don. I tell him I'm Sable. Suppose you've come all the way to see me. It's probably a map after you're after, eh, Sable? That'd be great. I'd love a map, actually. I tell the cog car car cartographer I'd love a map. Of course you would. That'll be 50 cuts. Fuck. To my ears, is a fair price for a map, but too expensive for a pre-gliding glider with empty pockets. I tell Jordan I'll be back. I'll just need to ask John Jotty for some money. Farewell, child. Fuck. Okay, so maybe that's not money. He's energy for days and looks cute, but he's very pokey and teething. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, go talk to Jotty, I guess. Is that a backpack down there? Another friend? Hello. What are you whistling at? As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. What are you looking at? Zeki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Ilari over there. I follow her gaze with a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Ilaria. Does she need help? Zeki shakes her head. No, she's fine. And I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. Oh, that's cute. I'm just parenting. Oh, it's so colorful now. Hey, Jotty, can I have some money? I tell Jotty the cart cartographer wants 50 cuts for a map of the Ewer. I try to hedge the way I speak about this, as I'm not entirely sure 
whether that's too much, not enough, or precisely its value. She tells me not to worry. Here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use it most wisely, and then a little unwisely when the moon strikes. I had a lot of money. What's up, pancake? Get him on a cookies. Get a cookies. <gasps> in space with the 11 month subs. Is greatly appreciated. And yeah, yes, get him cookies. Key. Key. And we got a new sub boss or stream boss. Hold on. You guys know what time it is? You know how this works? Hello. It's time to all hail space. Thank you so much for the 11 months, my friend. I appreciate the heck out of you. It's so good to see your face in chat. I hope you're doing okay. Good too. Hello, hello, hello. I think Johnny eff effusive effusively and head out my way. All right, let's go buy that map. Yeah, so there, um, I don't know if you've been in chat, um, if you do exclamation point stream boss, I, uh, I changed a thing. Um, stream bosses can, uh, once per stream, they can, uh, use a command to tell me to do something. Um, as long as it doesn't, like, completely derail the, the game we're doing. They can make it, like, a decision, or they can redeem a, uh... A 2200 channel point redemption for free. And I think it's exclamation, exclamation point, power word, one word, and then you tell me what to do. Reading trial. I'll buy the map. Perfect. That's trade then. Map for me. Hell yeah. I got a map. Thank you. I thank Jordan for the Uber map. And all its vast possibilities. Something about this makes it feel more real. Good luck on your gliding saber. I still remember mine. I asked how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me. But I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there and they'll have more maps to sell you. From Hakoa to the Soda Quest. I thank Jordan for the trip and say goodbye. Farewell, child. Don't give space so much power. <laughs> I'll ban you. <laughs> mm. Yeah, how's your new hire coming along, Pancake? I know it's the first day, but hopefully uh, they seem to fit in a little bit well. Yo, Toster, thank you so much for contributing to the R2D2 build. We're getting close. Power has already gotten to her. Recently became unemployed, man. Take a blessing in disguise. Hey, yes, take some time. Relax, kitty. How's it going, friendo? How was seven days today? I was lurking. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Oh, wait. Where's my... Not that. Okay. We're gonna play with our bike. And we're gonna go over here. Wrong button. Is it this one? Oh, ramp. Hold on. Please climb this. Not nearly as cool. Oh, shit. Oh, that's dangerous. Not ready for the new semester. You're getting there, though, Sal. You're persevering. You'll make it, dude. Seven days was a lot of fun. Your partner got infected. Oh, no. Did you have to put him down? <laughs> yep. Stake in school, man. Can I have this? Oh, it's a button. Computer. Access terminal. There's nothing of use to be found on the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. I push the button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate. I don't take a... I have to remind you how much work it is to get this far. We're almost there. All right. Let's see what that old machinist told us. Told us holds up. If he's not here, he'll... they'll be hell to pay. Man, I can't read. I can't words. I can't brain today. 
I hear the sounds of the mechanical d adjustments being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps? Okay. When I push the orange thing, pull that lever. Hard. Yes, Remen. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before snapping sound. Oh. Oh, on Rohana's mask. Not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly, he speaks. The speakers are filled with static and a low rumble and gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked! We're flying! Or cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? <laughs> okay, okay, let's focus. This thing's moving fast. We need to slow down a bit. How do you do that, Remen? Let me check the machinist's notes. Long pause. The rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. Remen? That lever, Toma. The one you just ripped out. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... The recording cuts off there. Oh, boy. Okay, so is this not the ship that I... They wanted me to go to? That's unfortunate. It was very quiet, non-talkative, so just get a real feel. Give him a short lesson. Gotcha. The zombies make you scream a lot? Yep. You saw a bear? He was not friendly? I didn't see that part. Said, well... I'll make him go deaf of the bears. They're tough. Oh, hi. Hi. Are you looking for the calibrator? I am immediately on guard. Simon has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it in practice you won't find it here i've hidden it you'll never find it never 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 she, she never fails to get me hey please have it i decided to be gentle and ask may I please have it may i please have it or may i please have it she mimics me terribly all high and screechy despite my best efforts i seize oh well too bad maybe you'll find it on your own but i don't think so simon laughs up laughs off my irritation, but I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to... Whoops. I'll give you the calibrator. I put out my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Saima. You will give me some beetles. Beetles? That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator or to acquiesce. Something's flashing on my screen. Shit. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. God damn it. Fucking murder this child. Get back here. How's it this like Simon managed to contain so much chaos and verb in a little small form? Even now, there's something troublesome being dreamed out behind the mask. I knew it. Uh -uh. Oh yeah, people could make mustard gas if he used bleach. Well, ammonia. You're working on getting your ADHD officially diagnosed? Nice. Yeah. If you've never mixed bleach and ammonia in, like, or a bleach in a toilet that had pee in it or something on accident, it's, uh, it'll make you bleed out your lungs. It's awful. Okay, so that little punk stole my stuff. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, wanted me to go into the camp? Whoa, 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 stop. Oh, a bucket? No, sorry. I threw your bucket. Oh, animal. Hello. Umar is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. Whoa, he just yeeted me. <gasps> Look at the goat thing. Hello. Can I pet? Hello. I don't need a bike. I want the ram. Look at your horns. You're pretty. 
Hello? You want some hay? Oh, they all have different horns. Ay! You're adorable. Where do I get these heckin' beetles? Oh, ask around camp. Hey, do you know where to get the beetles? I could ask about catching beetles for that little awful Saima. You know where I can find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles it's just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it, though. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. Daddy agrees me warmly. Okay, I've already done that. Okay. Beetle. This way. Wait. Let's get my... Little bike. Oh. Let's go on an adventure. Don't run into thing. Fine. Whoop. 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 Oof. Ah! Reading chat, gonna run into stuff. Oh, Sal, I played a game last night called Unpacking. If you haven't heard about that, you should check it out. It was very cute, very adorable. Thank you, Magic Post in the toilet and bath bathtub. Yep. Yeah, it was, uh... It'd probably make you cry. It was, it was really cute. I enjoyed it. Oh, I'm here. I gotta find beetles. Okay, can I climb this? Oh, that looks a little too high. Shit. Okay. Maybe this way. On your Xbox Game Pass? Yes, absolutely get it. Oh, God damn it. It's really good. Hey. This was the dam. I needed to come here anyway. Let's check out this, uh wreckage here no damn it you got uh, your city library free and i ended up just oh you're talking about the book i thought you were talking about that game worm chum egg what the fuck offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground perfectly smooth and hard as a rock these eggs seem to float with how light they are must be a good place to deliver these. I've got an egg. Oh, my worm count went up. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, chum egg sounds weird, huh? Lonnie! Thank you so much for contributing, my friend. Special. We got a sewer pipe. We need to go up there too. No, don't climb that. Let go. Burp. way do I want to go? Not this way. Oh. Except I found a money pot. Oh. I saw Bloodborne. I got excited.
Is that the sound of, like the Beatles? Worm! Mine! Herbs. Okay. What am I doing here? Kind of like this looks like a fruit. Can I grab this? Oh, I can. Get a fruit. There's no beetles. Um, beetles are afraid of people. Try to catch one. I'll distract it with some food. Are these not food? I'm taking this. Oops. Oh, I can't run. Why does it make such a crazy noise? We don't. Is this where the beetles are supposed to be? I don't get it. Here. I see no beetles. trying to do worm good at finding these worms oh guys i made a really cute set of dice today I did the, I tried the first time, hopefully they turn out, but it's the first time of using the blanks and the shells. And I made like a, a pastel kind of blue with a, like a little bit of white and pink and a little bit of green in it. Like pastel colors, kind of looks like chalk. And then I put a bunch of little like butterfly stickers around it. And that's the main die. And then I cast the, uh, The normal die or like the with the numbers around it so it has like a clear shell and i did something else today too but i don't remember what i did with them oh yeah i came i'm coming up i'm also trying to do like a smoke style die with smoke inside and then for the blanks and then i want to put the shell on the outside with also having smoke to see if it could give like a really cool layered smoke effect All right. I don't get the beetle thing. It's 
go back up to the, the dam. Oops, wrong button. Damn it. Oh, I like when she she actually pulls out her her compass. Like when she's running, she's looking at it. Oh, wrong button. Room. You can do it. I believe in you. Whoa, flipping. Hello. What's up there? Anything? Worm. Ooh, glowing control panel. And a money box. The dam unleash the river. Yep. Is glowing what's this i'm gonna put it in here because it has the same color here you go energy for you nice nope just the light i got a panel nice Cool. Little jerk kid wasn't here to steal my shit again. No worms. Oh, there's something up there. Absolutely going to be something up there. There's a little crack in the wall there. I don't know if I'll be able to make that. Okay, not as high as I thought it was going to be. Sorry, burb. Oh, there's something over there too. Holy crap. The area just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's like a little village. Worm. Catch the worms. Sal, Sal, thank you for so much for contributing. Sounds like we're going to be building the R2-D2 Lego set here pretty soon. Or it's just done. I just got the notification that finished. All right. Sweet. We'll have to build it soon. Oh, no. It's not done. It's close. I saw a big banner fly across. It's a pancake contributed. Thank you so much, friend. We're at 40k. Oh, falling. You want to get the R2-D2 one? It's adorable. A little shrine. Okay. Oh, this was probably the... Yep. 
a little hole in the ground here. Yeah, send him over. You've seen all mine, right? I mean, you've been to my house. I've, I have so many unopened sets. It's should be a crime. He's got the small version of the Boba Fett ship. That one I thought about picking up. Wait, I might have that one. There's another one. There's like a tiny one. And then there's like this size one. And then the big one. And I have the, the medium and the big one. I also have a... Uh, what's it called? The, the Razor Crest from... Fucking, why can't I think of it? The new Star Wars series. Mandalorian. It'll breach, breach TOS? No, no, slave one? No, that, that won't. I better not breach TOS anyway. That'd be dumb. You think you get another set for Valentine's Day? Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know how to drive. Okay, what was the other one? Over here. Gotta keep an eye open for worms. Oh, maybe that sun is the time because it's not a moon. It's eight sun right now. Will I be able to get up there? What the fuck? Oh, shit. like playing breath of the wild and just finding your way around and seeing if you can climb stuff uh oh i need more stamina containers no come on well, that's rude. All right, gotta go around. Nailed it. The man, yeah, the uh, the Razor Crest. Yeah, that one came about a while ago. I haven't built it yet, obviously. <laughs> it looks cool though. Fuck. All right. We're just coming to the entrance. It'd be easier. Actually, I might be able to get up that. You stay right there. Can I open this? This is uh, the temple I came in. Okay. Oh, spinning. Bonk. Bonk. Okay. Let's go check out this one. I haven't been over here, right? Or is this that worm? This was... Was this where the first worm was? Oh, hello. Money crate. Nope, haven't been here. Worm! Oh. 
Nothing else. Okay. Let's go. A little more this way. The vagina rock. Oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to get in there. Okay. This is a little ship over here. Whoop. Anything? Oh. Money crate? Money crate. All right, there's probably stuff up there. And yeah, it's it's 13 sun now, so I'm guessing that's time. Hello there. What have we here? Climb this? Yes. Okay. Is this just like a platformer challenge thing? You're supposed to grab that. Okay, there's stuff up there too. Or it's gonna be like the first place. Or you gotta use this tower to jump over to that one. Secrets. Oh, your boy found a secret. Mine. This looks like a freaking cannon. What is this? making noise it's got stuff plugged into it god damn it is it below me oh hello nice i got my power supply okay follows the red laser beams i just can't Okay. Super box. Oh, hell yeah. I got a bunch of money. 100 cuts made from the harvested from a crash ships. They have holes punched through the middle where a rope can be slid through for easy, inconvenient transportation. Nice. All right. Needle burrito. We. Shit. Oh. There would be fall damage, but the little circle protected me, I think. Oh, 
think I'll be able to make that. When you're in the bubble, it makes like a heartbeat sound. It freaks me out. It's like I'm dying. Oh, we got stuff up there too. <gasps> Worm! Hey, worm friend. Thank you. Hey! That's what it sounds like you said. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. There you go. Nope. Please don't make me have to re do all that again. Just to get that worm. Oof, thank you. All right, what do we have over here? Holy crap, this world is quite large. Much larger than I originally thought it would be. Oh, excuse me. Oh, got some pink things. I'll check that out in a minute. What was that noise? Very loud. I don't see anything down there, but I don't know if there's... Oh, worm! There's a field of view or a distance. Got that one all over my face. Okay, let's keep going this way. <gasps> Hello. Wait, I haven't been in this one, right? I have. Son of a bitch. Yep. God damn it. Gators! Ooh. That's funny. Just disconnected it to reconnect it. Hi, good Gadam. I got him noise. Hello. I love you. I stinky dog. I stinky dog. Oh, yeah. There's the stinky dog. Damn it. I've already been over. No shit. Oh. I almost fell all the way down there. Bird. <laughs> the giant booty, yes. <gasps> I wish I could call my bike. That'd be pretty sick. All right. I gotta go do the Beatles thing. Which I'm still not entirely sure how to accomplish. Oh, there's something out there. Check it out. I did say keep an eye on the skies. I'm assuming maybe like we leave the area and get over there.
Where are you, bike? The music just got really pretty. There it is. Vroom vroom. been in the wrong spot for the Beatles. Guess we'll find out. <sighs> so it would be over here. Yep, that's where I was at. I just couldn't figure out how to get the Beatles to come out. Might be something I look up. Because I thought I was doing what I needed to do. But the Beatles didn't come out. Beetle! There's the Beetle! But I... I'm not gonna carry the food fucking out of there. Are you serious? The camera angle fucked me. Okay. See if maybe they spawn like at night. Oh, climb that. Thank you. Either are beetles. Maybe they only come out at night. Or it was a bug. Okay, well they not just leave. That's kind of cool. That one is right there. Fuck, he left. Hey, fuckers. Come get this fruit. your nose and she went you're mine got him Alright, cool. Cool. Let's go back to town. Do our stuff. Is 
Got my heckin' beetles. Give them to that heckin' brat kid. Let's go! Alright, now we gotta find that kid's hiding hideout or whatever. Crashed that bike. <laughs> oh, got to be below me then. Aha! I feel embarrassingly vindicated as I hand Simon the Beatles, but rather than gloat, he hands me the caliper, or calibrator and begins to cry. What have I done? You're leaving. You're leaving. You're never going to come back. I'll comfort her. She blows her nose and then wipes her hand on her tunic. Yara never came back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. People leave that their choice. I tell Saima that Yara is allowed to do whatever she likes and that if it's her choice to go, then we must respect it. I wonder if she can tell I'm putting a little extra weight in my voice, which I hope sound like the wisdom of age. Uh, you wouldn't leave forever, right? Mm, not forever. I start to speak, but Saima cuts me off with a wail. Please don't go! I tell Saima not to worry, that I will be back sooner, sooner than she knows, and I'm sure she... I'm sure she pouts behind the mask. If I add that I am not back sooner than she knows, then she'll be ready for her gliding by then, and she can come bother me herself. Promise? I say yes. Good, then I suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. Nice. All right. Let's back and deliver these parts and get us a stinking bike. Am I going to be able to climb this? Oh, come on. I was there. Do I have a message? Nope. Messages for me. Hey, I have the parts. Let's build us a thing. I return to Saizo. With the parts, and it's this as she weighs me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again once I'm gone? Well done, Sabo. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble the bike of your own? Hell yeah. And let us head to the workshop. Let's do it. Sizer relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Saizo is in her element. I wonder if it's if it's this way for all mashness. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. We are doing... All we are doing is assembling her. From what she has already been. I nod and feel a soft fuzzy to my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Sick. Not bad. Buzz relaxes in the workshop. Yeah. Already did that. Assemble the machine. Okay. Put it together then. 
Whoa. Made wings. I'm all excited putting the things together. This is great. Building this with our own hands. Hopefully it doesn't explode or catch on fire. Yes, yes, but of course. It's the moon achievement unlock. Is that the name of my bike? Just like Tetris. Listen. Saizo tilts her head a moment, leaning closer to Simoon. All once I knew the bike's name. Simoon. Oops. I say it something or other. Simoon. Or Simoon. Simoon. Well done, Sable. What does it mean? What does it mean? You should ask her yourself. Saizo looks entirely serious. The bike, to my enduring surprise, says nothing, even when I lean close. I tell Samoon that I am eager to know her better, and Saizo looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready, then, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you. Turn their faces from you, Sable. Their faces from you? An odd blessing, perhaps, that Saizo is prone to such things, and I, I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Samoon. To care for her. Seek out my fellow ma machinists on your travels, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Hell yeah! Power of the machine spirit. Oh, and here, take this. It's a machinist badge. They'll meet plenty of ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth and they'll give you more badges. I thank Saizo twice for a good measure and give a bow. I am ready. Okay. Sweet, can I take my bike? No! I want to take my bike. Looks busy. I should leave her to it. I want to take my bike. All right. I'll go talk to our friends first, I guess. Ooh. Oh, come on. Hello. I return to Jotty with new lightness. And it makes the weight of the, my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Sizo gave it to me. I tell Jotty that Sizo gave me the badge. But you must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the master... Or the mask caster in no time. I try to think about going to a mask caster, but it seems impossibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever? I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You've got, you got plenty of badges when you're out there. And once you've got three alike, you can trade them in for that mask. But don't feel like your, ma your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Whoa. What's up, Scars? It is cool. It's neat art, isn't it? Welcome to the stream, my dude. Only at your final ceremony will you be, will you be asked to choose one. How will I choose? You'll have to feel it out. But when you know, you'll know. Now. The tone of her now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all of this done, there's only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the Temple of Rohana. The face door. That was a door. There, you'll assemble your gliding mask. And go. There are things I wish to convey to, to Jotty here. Depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak of any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child. Aw, oh, sick. I got a new outfit. I made you these. They are dyed with the traditional Mexi maroon and hope. And I hope provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, clan child of the Mexi. You will be S Sable and the rest will come. But no matter what, where you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you. And I will see you again. Is she going to die? I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin. And I am ready. How do I put those on? 
Aha. Wait a minute, it's the same thing. Oh, cape. Oh, look at me go. Okay, cool. Now what? Can I get my bike now? That'd be kind of great. You finished Dante's Inferno? What'd you think? Was it worth a revisit? I want my bike. I want the bike I made. I guess this will do. I like my cape. Oh, the door's open. I thought some of the God of War games on hard were bad. The trials you face at the end of the game. Yes. Yes, they can. I do remember those being a pain in the ass. Hey, store. A floating bubbles. Oh. This opens up. Hello. Got some Legend of Zelda shit going on here. The combo trial? Yep. Yep. I think I, I think there was a a way I found to cheese that one though. If I recall. Why didn't you jump? Still not jumping. There you go. Okay. Upstairs. A button. Mothman. Yep, assembling the mask. Nice. No, it's going to bring me back down. That's cheating. something up here whoa person rip and jump off oh third eye Oh, there's a hole in the ground here. Okay. Not a complete hole. Okay, you can jump real far. Oh. She didn't grab it at first. That freaked me out. Who's next? Archer? Oh, 
Oh, I thought there was four for some reason. It's no face. The worms are back. Whoa. I want that mask. That's cool. What you doing, Goofy Doggy Jinder? What you doing, Goofy Doggy Jinder? Yeah, don't get no more, no more, no Hi, Dougie. Hi, Dougie. Oh. Face scratches. Face scratches. Oh. Hello. Gliding. Return to camp. Can I put that on? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I look awesome. How do we get out of here? It's this way. Sometimes you wish you had a dog, but then I remember how much... My cat's annoying you. <laughs> I love dogs. Dogs are good. That's why I like getting hippo dogs, because they they're just chillax. High energy if you want them to be. Lazy lumps. If you tell them to. Works out great. Oh, that's the way I went up before. Hey! Who stole my bike? Motherfucker! Someone stole my bike. Rude, dude. Ugh, I hate that. Looks like a giant spider. I'm here. Where's everyone? There's only two types of dogs you'd like to have, and both are higher energy. Oof. That's like a, a husky. Crazy high energy dog. Holy crap. Or uh, any, actually any of the shepherds. Cattle dogs. Holy crap. So much energy. Hello, Sable. Jotty's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still warns me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, you hope you will have gone. The gliding is a journey that you must begin alone. There's a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that, I am grateful. It will be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weepingly, weepingly into her arms to stay forever. But I'm ready, and, I, and so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things you always carry with you as you do, as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Utari. They're the machinists at Burn Oak Station, and among Saizo's closest friends. Utari's a good contact to have one on one gliding, and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to the Uber. So keep an eye on the post boxes, and I'll try not to forget us. She takes a long breath, and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Wait, did the whole fucking clan just pack up and leave? I mean, they did say they were nomadic. Where's my bike? No, don't run there. I need my bike. What the fuck? Husky or Shiba Inu? Yep. Very high energy. Oh, 
Oh, I can call my bike. Yo, it's got red flames. Fuck yes. Oh, look at my bike. Oh, fuck yes. This is awesome. Oh, the va vagina door is open. Oops. This is cool. We're free. Did I beat the game? I can't beat the game. Okay. It's got music though. It's cool. Just the two of us. Oh, it's got singing music. This is magical. Cool. Wow, I like this song. I'm flying. Whee! This one's much better at jumping than the other one. Jump this. I'm gonna jump this. Oh. It wasn't a jump. Oh. That looks interactable. Alright, I do have to change the sound all of a sudden ramped up like crazy. There's a cactus here. There it is. Hello. Nothing happened. Interesting. Boop. Okay. Wee. This is fun. Guy's gonna have a map. Alright. Right here, little bike friend. Can't climb that? What? Yep. Oop. Grab the wall. Oh, come on. Ooh, still made it. Of course, as soon as I turn down the music, it gets quiet again. Ooh. I have a feeling I'm not going to actually be able to do this. Ooh. Hello, friend. I would like to buy a map. The gift of gab. I greet the cartographer shyly, a little cow cowed 
by how alone we are up here and how intimate that sometimes feels despite it being so much a part of my gliding. She responds with what sounds like a warm smile. Hello there, glider. Thank you for taking the time to climb all the way up here. Surveying gets a little lonely sometimes, you know. I tell her that I do. A lonely... Given how lonely I can get on the sand sometimes, I hope Samoon doesn't hear. So then, what is it you need? Can I get a map? Of course. 50 bucks. Fuck yeah. What is that? Sansy map. Oh. Look at that too. Nice. Thanks, Glider. Bye bye. But there's more I wanted to talk to. Um, what's worth looking at nearby? Oops. Well, I guess what ask what regions are nearby. It's fine. Glad you asked. Head south, we will see if you wish to see the white sands of, of the wash. West, you'll find Red Sea and its myriad secrets, and to the east are the salt plains of the waste. Ask if there's anything worth a look nearby. She chuckles to herself. Of course. You don't think I'm standing up here for nothing, do you? Have you been to the Great Wind Tower yet? I get up there and you can see for ages. And Bert Old Station is close by as well. You'll never guess what, why it's called that. I think about it, but she goes on before I can shout my prediction. And if you're a fan of insects, there's a gigantic Hercules beetle nest nearby. You know, rumor has it they can lift 100 times your own body weight? Sick. All right. Thanks. All right. Bike. Come on, Smoon. I got places to be. Aw. Oh, you can't land on it. Vroom. My little pod racer. The game is putting me to sleep. Holy crap. I think we found Burnt Oak Station. Hello, friends. Any friends? Oh, a thing. Oh, hello, friend. It is a challenge not to view scrapers or scrappers through quite a romantic lens. As I look toward my Lighting as a child, I picture myself as a dust-covered traveler exploring strange forbidden places and finding strange forgotten things. A treasure hunter of old and arcane objects. And though I'm certain the grind of sifting through sand and dirt for useful tools and things left over can wear anyone down, I cannot help but weave some thread of my fantasy into the reality of the work. Alton. Greetings, Glider. Name is Alton. I give a bow and introduce myself as Sable. You'll find much scrap metal out there, Sable. It's been known to happen. Good, good. Alton... Alton leans back and looks up at the ceiling thoughtfully. Got a task for you, if you're up for it. The hesitation in my voice is a product of a gentle intimidation, but I stand up straight and casual enough to seem like I'm up for anything. Alton seems to believe it enough. I need scrap, Sable, and lots of it. And you out there already doing basically nothing. Alton chuckles, chuckles to himself. Shouldn't say it like that. Gliding's odd, eh? You have nothing to do, you have no everything to do. Wonder if anyone's ever spent their gliding just lying around. I don't know if that counts as gliding. Might be easier. I joke that it might be an easier life to find a big warm rock and stare up into in infinity, resting my way through a glide. He snorts amused, but I can tell the idea of an extended nap is one he finds inviting. Perhaps I do too. Anyhow, the task. Let's see if you can understand this one, yeah? It's a bit complex. I tell him ready. Go on. Go out. Find scrap. Bring it to me. What sort of scrap? I asked Alton what sort of scrap he'd like. All of it. Big scrap. Little scrap. Medium-sized scrap. 
If it's made metal and it's too busted up for anything else, I want it. Think you can handle it? Until I'm happy for any reason to explore and then I'll return with everything I find. I say goodbye to Elton. All right. There's a thing in there and I want it. There's a money crate. That must be his money crate. Maybe I won't steal it. All right. Simoon, let's go. I wonder if... I wonder if every game has a different name for your bike. That's a cool tree. It'd be kind of cool. Oh, I'm going to park my bike. Look at these other cool bikes. Hell yeah, parked. Hello. The machinist looks over at me. You're late. For what? The wizard is never late. For a meeting. For a meeting one another. You ought to have come here sooner. I asked the machinist how they know me. I don't know you. I do not know you. Not yet. I'm perplexed. I wait for them to explain themselves, but they seem to wait for the same. Briefly, I feel a hint of shame as I remember times I've been late among the Abexi. Things I've slipped up on doing. But I dismiss my doubts as I recall that I have no idea who this strange machinist is. I ask them. My name is Utari. Of immediate revelance to you, that is, I am afraid. Revelance to you is that I am a friend of Saizo. I ask them if Saizo alerted them to my impending arrival. Perhaps she looks out for me and sets waypoints in oasis along my gliding. A comforting thought. No, no, no. It was your hover bike. I heard it for the first time months ago and felt the shape of its voice. Of her voice. Sorry. Holy shit. These people are crazy cool. I tell, I tell Utari that if that it was not Simoon they heard, for Saizo and I only built her a few days hence. They waved their hands at me in a hu hurried dismissal. Did Saizo teach you so little? The voices of her machines are eternal, more ancient even than their forms. I heard them, as I always have. And yours, I thought, would, re would revisit me sooner. But here we are. Now, let us speak of why you have come. Our needs converge upon the top of the wind tower. Tell me more. Something has stopped the wind the tower working. I was hours away from going to see it for myself, but you and Simoon came after all. Whew. Sorry. Go there and mend what is broken or soothe what is hurt. And I will give you what you seek. Ask Utari if they know what I seek. I omit that I might not. A direction. I will be waiting for you. Travel swiftly and safely. I saw a customized bike. Let's have a look, shall we? These aren't... These are just what I own. Bummer. I thought you would have stuff for me. Oh, my bike teleported to me. <gasps> Money crate. Just sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Or not. We got a fig. My favorite fruit. The first thing I would ask for when we pass traveling merchants with the with the Abexi. Hello. Look like a Dark Souls character. Whoa! Look at the stag beetle mount. Thing's cool. Aha, sneaky worm, you sneaky sneak. She's got a little friend following her. Oh, hello. Can't talk to you. Whoa, look at this person. In super I'm trying to talk to you. Guard before me stands tall, her posture shaped by duty. Uniform weathered by years. Hello there, young glider. I'm nearly startled by the force of her greeting, but her voice is comforting somehow, warm and welcoming. I greet her with the accidental enthusiasm of a traveler finding a friend. She smiles behind the mask, I think. Always nice to meet a fellow traveler, especially now. How are you firing so far? The world is big and I feel very small. What? Oh, the guy's helmet is moving. You say that like, like it's a bad thing. Isn't it a wonder the size of it all, that you can spend your whole life wandering and still find more to see? I think about the balled up fabric and smoothed out rock that will 
Make my next pillow and many to come. My neck aches faintly at the thought of how many nights I will spend this way. It's, pos it's possible I'm romanticizing it a little. You see, I'm getting ready to leave on my second gliding. She reads the confusion in my silence. Did no one tell me of the second gliding? I suppose it isn't a real second gliding. But it's how I'm thinking about it. A chance to see the world again and how it's changed. I'm in a Korean guard, you see. Or, I was in a Korean guard. As of three days ago, I'm officially retired. You should have seen the way the others looked at me. There's a laugh in her voice. All of them were so baffled to see me go, telling me how much I'd missed the big city. A few of them even felt sorry for me. Like, what would I do? Now that my life's purpose is complete. Can you imagine? I try to, but I can barely muster a few of my purposes start, let alone its end. I shake my head. I said thank you all for the strange condolences, but tomorrow marks the first time in decades that I will wake up in the morning and have absolutely no idea what lies ahead. And I've never been more excited. Don't get me wrong, I've loved my work, I even loved the noise and the trouble of Ekria. But I've spent enough of my life standing around looking hard. It's time to explore. Her glee is infectious. I ask where she'd like to go. I'm heading to the Badlands, I think. I want to see the Bridge of the Betrayed. If you haven't already, you should definitely go see it yourself. You'll want the Northern Badlands southwest of here. I nod, trying to keep the directions in mind. And Elizabeth gives me a little tap. That's her name. Maybe I'll see you up there. Sick! Made a friend. Okay, I can't talk to you. You have horns. How do I get horns? You have no face. I mean, I mean Ifa, the innkeeper of the camp. What can I do for you? Do you have any tasks I need doing? Before I can even finish the question, Ifa shouts. Larva husks! I repeat the words back to her as a clarification. She nods. I need some larva husks. There, how much? There. How much do you know about beetles? Uh, a little bit. Well, not sure if this is part of that little bit, but larva husks are what gets left behind when the beetle larva grow. Beautiful, really tough casings. If you don't mind, I'd be grateful if you could collect some for me. The type I'm looking for are Hercules beetles. You won't need to go far, but the nest is guarded by the mother beetle. You're going to have to find a way to get past her. I'll tell her I'll do my best. Anything else I can help you with? Bye-bye. Very well. Alright, there was people out here. Beetle person. I want your beetle now. Glider, welcome. Come, view my wares. Okay. Smashing. Have a gander at my goods. <gasps> Stuff. Needle bike wings. Yo! Yo! I can buy all three of those. Smoke pours out from the mini exhaust at the back of this booster. Best to avoid indoor and other people. Can I look at a beetle bike? Ah, it's stuck. All right. I'm buying him. I'm poor. Where can I get a merchant's badge? Oh, that's a big beetle. He's a big boy, Fred. Don't let the size fool you, though. He's a soppy fella. Loves to snuggle. Won't help much if a worm attacks, but he can pull anything through a sand drift without any struggle. See you soon. Oh, I want to keep talking. Where can I get a merchant's badge? Merchants aren't liable to just give out badges freely. The best bet is there to head to Ikria. There's a big market in town there. Worth trying to give his attention if you want to get yourself some merchant's badges. Be careful how you do it, mind. She's not the friendliest customer. This is one of the many beetle tent stations around Midden. Named after the big old burnt tree over there. Not sure what species an oak is, mind. There's plenty of characters passing through here. There's all worth a bother if you're on your gliding. Never know what badges and masks you might pick up. Don't be shy. Chat to the tent owners, interrogate the machinists, and any other people you see around. There's also the scrapper's yard just below, below the big crane over there. There's a lazy scrapper down there who'll make finding scraps worth your time. Sweet. I have to... Up. 
outfit my um my bike. Please hold. What's up here? Okay. Oh, that's my bike. What do we got here? Looks like a cat face. You see that? Hello. The mask caster. Oh, sits unmoving silent. I can't tell if the mask caster is human or something else. I've heard about mask casters and stories about glidings before. Gliders should collect three badges of a set and bring them to the caster from whom the mask shall be cast. I should look for some more badges. Okay, so this is where I come when I decided I know what I want to do. That looks like that would be a, a sneak rit. Oh, a ghost. A dusk firefly. What was that? All right, let's go play with my bike. Oh, colors achievement unlocked under the hood. This one doesn't change color. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, man. My speed goes up. So, I gain slight acceleration. Better handling, but I lose a lot of max speed. That's a bummer. Oh my god, it's slow. Look at it, it's got feet. Oh my god. I got... It's slow as fuck. Look at my bug bike. Why does it feel faster? It feels much faster. It's a penis bike. Definitely looks like a penis. It feels faster. Okay, what are we doing? Let's do... Also, I want to go... Ah! I want to go check out the tree. Is this just a sign? Yeah. Definitely gonna be something up there. Although, definitely not gonna be able to climb it. Okay. Well. Something happened to the turbine. Let's go fix that. What turbine? Wee. Whoa, hold on. There's another big old tree. I want to know what this is. Big old airplane or spaceship. Let's observe the outside. Looks like you'd be able to get in through the engines. Oh, something over there too. Oh, 
Found an entrance. Okay. I can't tell if it tastes like less stamina when you're actually climbing on something that has like a grate or something. The Dunboin. needs a power cell aha oh I'd have been upset if you didn't grab that oh, I got you a power cell neat we Another power cell. The door. Well, that just straight up opens. Okay. The sounds in here are very ominous. Okay, that's just gonna power that door. Got it. Wonder if that's needed for in here. What do we got? Got some orange things. Oh, hello. Got a power cell up there. Got a door. Oops, grab this. How do I get it over there? This will rotate. Probably get in there. There might be another one inside that. I could have just made that jump by myself. Ah! It's not gonna knock me off, is it? Okay. What have we got in here? Sneak grits. Grab metal for dude. Push a button. Oh, nice. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Now I can go get that thing out. Whoa. Come with me, please. Oh, there's an orange one up there. Okie dokie. I should have just kept that flat. That would have been the smart thing to do. The Dinboin. Oh, hi. Hello. How are you? Encounter a strange luminous figure it greets me before I even have a chance to be frightened. New user found. Hello, please enter your username. I find myself whispering my own name. It suddenly feels odd in my mouth, like this is the first time I've said it out loud. Welcome, Sable. I've set up a new account for you. My name's Saren. I asked the new mysterious figure about themselves. I am the ship's simulated anthropomorphic registry and informational nexus. You can call me Saren. Ask Saren what they are doing here. I am not entirely sure, Sable. Most of my data modules appear to be corrupted. I'm attempting to access ship records. Saren goes still for a moment. Transferring ship's log to your inbox. You have unread messages, Sable. Okay. Here are your unread messages. The panel blinks to life, strange markings and symbols I assume to be ancient text spill across the screen as the background colors flash wildly. And then, with a the strange buzzing like old fabrics pulling apart, there are voices. With long-run centuries, Captain, we are picking up some anomalous readings from the upper atmosphere. 
Could be a plasma storm, but the radiation signature doesn't quite match. Hmm. Maintain approach at current speed. What's our time to destination? 46 Earth hours, give or take. Good. Let's keep an eye on those energy signatures. Get Saren in on it too, for patent recognition. Captain, we need to purge our reactor soon. If we don't... I know. I'm aware of... I'm, I'm aware of the risks, Atlas. But I'm not purging in the middle of space. We follow the protocol and... The recording fails and the static continues. A few button pushes bring silence in the screen that looks at naviga navigable in some way, but I can't decipher anything. No unread messages. Okay. Goodbye. See ya. Interesting. Okay. But there's an orange power thing. And I want to figure it out. How do I get up there? This looks like that might be another thing that opens up. Oh, I get it. I think the sneaker. Since that all has like a gate rafter thing, but not right there. Tells me I got to use this thing. I don't know why I did that, but nailed it. What's this? Scrap? Looks like some scrap. Here you have a scrap. I'd have a scrap. Okay, what do I what do I do with this? Oh, it's just money. All right, cool. I thought I was gonna do something with those things. Also, where did this come from? This wasn't here a second ago. Strange. Cool. Powered on the ship. Phew, Jada, I smell that. I knew I saw something. Oh, don't climb it. Worm! You did not look like a worm from the back. Okay, let's go check out this floating thing. After I see if actually could we have entered... Closed, closed, closed. That's why you always have a candle going. Why do you always have a candle going? Space. I want to... You know what? That's begging to be climbed. Look at this. There's got to be a secret up there. Oh. She can't climb this. Never mind. Bummer. Room. Stinky dog butts. Oh. Yeah, when they just drop a stink. Okay, what is this about? Ooh. Any way to enter? Nope. Just gotta climb it. Will I be able to climb that? Yeah, 
that glowy red stuff. Oh, come on. Wasn't paying attention. No, no. It's right there, Sable. Alright, are any of these taller? I don't think so. Looks... I want to go drive through those, uh... Those thing. Butt pads! Look at, look at all the, the glowy rings. We gotta go through those. Jada smells like roses and unicorn farts. Jada, you want some blood pets? Oh, look how happy she gets. She's like, yes. I want, I want to get him. I can get him those booty pads in. Oh. I don't. How are you? Hey, Jim, scratch him. Oh. Come here. Hey, your daddy. Oh. Even the babies. Oh. Like, kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him. Oh, 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 Why couldn't you find Yuri? Look at these rings. Definitely want to drive through these. Oh, is it is it going to be speed based? Because this thing is slow. I did not think it was going to be linked at all to that thing. I'll take it though. What did it do? Oh. That makes it even harder to climb. Oh, it's a temple. I'm still streaming, yes, Citric. Thread the needle. Whoa, that was weird. The smoke. Oh, there's a person. I have to be drawing, but I'm not because I was pushed to improve myself. <laughs> I believe in you, Citric. You can do it. Hello, Sneakrit. Ancient race quest log. Okay. I wonder what the ring shape artifact is for. Okay, so let's go turn in some of that scrap metal I found. Maybe. Which one was I working at? That. Uh, I like the way this ship looks, but God, it's slow. Ship speed bike.
Holy crap. I thought this was going to be a close one. But it's not. It's really far away. Woo. Keeping an eye open for any sort of secrets I might find. Woo. up here nothing nothing this is a big drop whoa whoa does it want me to go up there whoop upside down whoop stop Oh, there's some archway things over there. Yeah, it took me all the way back to the entrance area. Will it show me on the map? Oh, yeah, it does. It's really far away. Fuck. That's fine. Just a little exploring, that must be it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tell me you can jump up here, Mike. Whoa, not like that. Damn it. All right. Oh, my smoke from the bike looked like a creepy figure there for a second. Oh. Careful now. You want to cover Link in a bunch of scars? Oof. Although, to be fair, he probably has quite a few. A battle-hardened Link. Yep. Does it not, not sound like a waterfall? Alright, we'll have to check that out in a second. Herbs! Someone's up here. Hello. Shit. Fucking missed it. Oh, that's nice. It just puts you back. Skin is completely here. Yep. I 
say it's due to Zelda's healing powers. Oh, game. Is there something below me? Why do I feel like there's a secret? Of something below me. Can't see anything. Wind tower, people, I'm here. What's wrong with your tower? Okay, I don't see anything. Hello. Oh. Okay, this place is large. Oh, I'll take it. Money for me. Nice. Doors does not open. Is anyone in here? I saw a fire. Did you guys hear that? I'm like a cat. Whoa. That's cool. Can I knock this down? Can't grab it. I think it's the wind making that noise. Definitely sound like a cat. Oh, it's something moving in the breeze. Whoa, just fell off that. So many ways to climb. Whoa, something's wigging out there. Yeah, I see your scars, memory, or mind. Yeah. Link's definitely scarred up, boy. Oh, okay. Okay. Those are moving. Did I see the drawing of Link's all No, I haven't. Did you post it in the Discord? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think I can climb that. Oh. Okay. It was a rock. Rock was stopping it. Gave him a large guardian blast scar on his chest. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Being in the, the healing pod for sure. Oh, shit. I don't know where that is. Oh, no. I don't know where that, that chest is.
don't remember seeing it. Oh wait, I do remember seeing a door. Just don't remember where. He was near the entrance. Was it not? Yeah, I would love to see it. Where was... There it is. Thank you for the monies. Oh! New outfit. Nice. Cool. Oh, is this one not marked? That's a bummer. There's that. Okay, that one is. Yeah, that one's. Okay, let's mark that because it's right there. Worm. I was going to observe the other side of this, wasn't I? Yay. We're safe. Oh, fuck. I was going the wrong way. God damn it. You gave me an outfit based on the concept art of Hateno Village? Nice. I look forward to seeing them. Do you jump? Nope. Oi. Uh, yeah. Baby jump. My bike is slow. Whoop. Bonk. All right, we're going to go find some husks. Wee. Look at the moon. Take a hundred year nap. Oh, I wish I could take a hundred year nap. That sounds fantastic. I would be totally up for that. Oh, that's cool. The spine's growing all over that. I want to observe this. All right. You stay here, Samoon. We'll be back. Oh. When I miss Jade, if I'm at for a hundred years, heck that should be napping with me. All right, found the beetle nest. Oh, got some stairs. Figure that out in a minute. I want to see what this is about. Oh. <gasps> Money.
honey crates. Someone's playing music. Hello? Who's playing music? <gasps> Look at the boy! Achievement unlock, nesting giant. I love him! I want to be his friend. What's up with this covered wagon? <gasps> Money crate. Yeah, it's different. I like the... It, ooh. The change in direction here. Okay, let's go back up here. I want to observe this little observatory thing. At least that's what it kind of looks like. Whoop. Who's playing the music? Someone's got to be playing music somewhere. Oh. Hello? Are these the eggs? Give me something up there. Aren't a lot of aggressive pit bulls aggressive because they're treated... Any dog that is treated to be... Or trained to be mean can be mean. Whoa. Okay, that might be the actual nest. Ah, shit. This definitely looks like a, a platformer bit. Who's playing music? Teach me. Oh. Shit. Oh. Hammer. You're gonna murder me. Oof. Oh. What is that? the hell okay we're gonna put this down for now ah okay you hang out there for a second can I get in here there's another one Oh, shit. It's fine. Okay. Holy God, I just launched that. All right, what if I put this next to one of those egg things? There we go. Yeah. Nice. I have no idea what these are for. Uh, 
Um. Maybe I go wake him up. No, because I need to be picking them up for them to do whatever they're doing. They look like they belong on the orb piles. Yeah, it doesn't work. It didn't do anything. Like, I figured this would do something to them, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, he loves them. He loves. Here you go. Here you go. I bring you presents. Oh. He changed his mind. Come here. Uh, okay. Look at the boy. Are you gonna get mad that I'm in here now? Should I have taken one of those with me? Oh, a skeleton. Lots of skeleton. Something to go up there. Larvas. Hi, friends. Okay. another one <gasps> worm oh god they all twit or twitch and they're freaking out the cat's invisible in the dark the black cat Sneak right up there. Okay. Next one, let's go up here. Excuse me. <laughs> Little tiny skeleton. None of you. There it is. Nice. Oh. There's things up there. There's gonna be super sneakers. What the? Who's camping out in here? Getting eaten by bugs. Oh, super chest. How many of these did I need? I have four or three. Nice. Have five or three. Nope, that is a ladder. Five three. Oh, this must just be the way out. We'll check. No, they're they're uh 
Hercules beetle larva's husks. Where did the... It's over there, isn't it? Fuck. Anyway, I jumped too far. But the colors changed on me, all the... White smoke. Money! Hell yeah. Alright, let's escape. There's this swirly poop thing. Much smaller than the beetle. Oh, really? <laughs> Did not see it. Man, this game make me tired, which is great because I slept like garbage. I'm stuck. I would like not to be stuck. I'm getting more stuck somehow. Fuck. Game. Oh, thank God. I got unstuck. Hungry, but I don't know what I want to eat. Tacos sound good. Tortilla soup sounds good. Sushi sounds good. Holy crap. I had ravioli yesterday. That's funny. I do have ravioli. Could he go eat some more of that? Where's my... Aha, I was going to say we must observe the top of this because there's going to be a secret worm somewhere. Worm. What's tortilla soup? It's a it's a Mexican soup. It's delicious. in the bubble oh this moon is pink now oh they're just pink when i'm floating interesting come on Samoon. time to go back butterfly thing i need it oh i got a butterfly Adriana, yo thank you so much for the raid how's it going friend welcome to the stream what was you playing you weren't playing seven days to die were you Ready player onesie, welcome to the stream. I'm assuming you came in with that lovely, lovely raid from our dear friend, Dendriana. I appreciate the heck out of you, my friend. How you doing? Let's do what's crazy, what's exciting for you. <gasps> Rando, what's going on, Frandos? Yuri, thank you so much for the shout out. I was just about to do it. You were playing, oh, that's right. You've been playing Chrono Trigger. That's right. How you enjoying it? Also, if you guys don't know me, I'm Vasif. I'm a variety gamer here on Twitch. I've uh, been playing uh, the God of War series on hard mode, um, starting with the originals, and uh, been doing some body paint along with it. Uh, we just beat two on Monday. So uh, we're taking a kind of a, a chill stream. We beat or we played uh, Unpacking yesterday, and we're going to be playing Sable for the rest of the week. Uh, which is this game and it's very cozy i enjoy it um and then uh, next week we should be starting up uh god of war 3 continuing on hard mode and then body paints but the real star of the show is this being right here this is jada this is jada face hi there's jada you want them cookies i take it for the red and this cookie i take it for the red oh scratch them scratch them scratch them that's jada that's the real star of the show we love her you got so confused I don't play the game often enough to really remember. Chrono Trainer Trigger? <gasps> Boopy Snoots! <gasps> oh, you got the boobies! Yo, thank you for contributing to the R2D2 Lego Build Challenge. Ready, play, onesie. Can I, do you have a nickname? 
do, do people have a nickname for you? Do you have a, a nickname you prefer to go by? I was supposed to go to bed, but Tendria just started raiding, so I hop along. Hey, I appreciate you coming along with the raid, but I also agreed with Tendriana. Dude, self-care, if you need to go to sleep, pop to sleep. That goes with anyone that's coming at the raid. I know how uh, you can kind of lose yourselves when you're watching streamers. So if you haven't already, go eat some food. Go drink some water if it's been a while. Get up and stretch. Whatever you need to do. If you need to go to sleep, go to sleep. I appreciate you guys coming in. It means a lot. But definitely do please take care of yourselves. <laughs> Onesie, you're ready? Okay. Yes, she's a sweet bean. <laughs> she's just, she's like inching closer and closer. Like, I'm getting them snackies. If you guys want to hang out in the stream, please delete the referral raid. Does that not give. I thought, um. I thought they changed that. Did they not? Because that's jacked up. The heck, Twitch. Also, any streamers that hadn't got their animated emotes yet, they pushed uh, a rollout to a bunch of people on Monday. So if you were an affiliate, go check your dashboard, see if you got your animated emotes. A bunch of people just got uh, some, or got them. So go check. Go check, it's exciting. It's still a thing? That's lame. Alright. Well, I gotta pay attention to that crap. You got one slot yesterday? Dude, nice. So you have access to him. Yeah, dude, everyone was, was from what I understood, people were supposed to have, have them by the end of December, if not like the first week of January, and it's like they forgot or something, or something weird happened, and the rollout stopped. Can I not climb that? Apparently, I can't climb anything right here. All right. Come on. Nope. Always push the wrong button. Raid hosts don't count towards concurrent viewer count when attaining affiliate. But do they count as viewer count? Well, because that's part of attaining field. I don't know, man. Fucking Twitch. So fucking confusing. But if you aren't affiliate, it does count towards gaining affiliate. But if you are affiliate, do you not get a view count? That's weird. I park my bike. Um. One person wanted the stag beetles and the other person wanted the scrap. Med glider. Oh, you'll talk to me now. What's in that glass vial? Oh, I made this. It's a color palette. Oh, you know what? We'll change it. Oh, I made this. It's a color palette, but we'll have a bike. Inspired by my work as a herder. Here, take some. I insist. I'd be very proud to see you riding a bike with my color sable. Med glider. Dude, I got a color palette? Yes. What's up with the statue? Ah, oh, you might recognize her. Alana. She was a great herder of many creatures. They say she came from the whale and herded the ancestors of the creatures we heard today. We teach that keeping your herd near her statues will keep them together, well fed and healthy. We had goats in my clan. Ah, so you are familiar with the temperament. I suppose you are in Bexy. Say hello to Umar and Jadi for me. Okay, see you around. All right, who wanted the the bugs. Oh. Was it you? It wasn't you. Nope, it wasn't you. Oh! There's a friend in here. But where'd they go? Ah, it's you. Greetings, Glider. What can I do for you? I got your bugs. Aoife started clapping the moment I caught her eye. Ah, you got them. Oh, well, Mother Beta didn't give you too much trouble. I handed her the husk lighter than air, but strong as steel, and she slides them away in a cloth bag. These, these will really come in handy. Thank you. Actually, ooh. Actually, there's one more thing you can do for me. 
Can you take these hosts to a Korea and deliver them to Ayana in the chime maker's workshop? Oh yeah, dude. Sick. And I still have two extras, so maybe someone can make something sweet for me. Where is you? That way. I got some scrap metal for you. Ooh, speaking of. No, 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 I'm that. They can as viewer, can on stream, but not towards path. Jeez. So, <gasps> this thing's always here. Can I grab it every time? Mine. Mine. Got him. That's annoying. People would be hitting partner left and right if raids hose were counted. Yeah, but it has it has to count towards like your. Oh, could I have gone? Oops, gone in that. It has to be per like hour too. So if you get raided with like 400 people, but they stay for 15 minutes, it doesn't affect your average. Actually, Twitch pings like every 15 minutes or something. But if like they stayed for five minutes, you're not gonna get a 400 count on your viewer count, right? No, it was it was catch him. Alton barely looks up at me. I did anything useful. You want some scrap metal? I read everything I found him and handing over piece by piece. Sick. Making that mons. I hate getting out of this part. Cause then you have to go back around. What was that? You need an elevator, dude. So I have all this money. Oh crap. I wanted to check the uh the paint job. And I might change my bike because as much as I like it, it's really freaking slow. Charlie's delight is obvious and I see it even in my approach. They radiate energy. Oh, right, I fixed your thing. Totally forgot about yours. You did it. Thank you. Good well done, both of you. Did you have much trouble? No, no, no. Of course not. Why would you? Your, oh, no. His voice was, you were, not, you were meant to do it. Now for your, I won't say reward. Now for what you're owed. Utari produces a machinist pad, holding it for me to take. Nice. You are me. You may have been late in coming, but you are here where you are meant to be. I give you this badge not only in recognition of where you have been and what you have done, but in honor of one of many possibilities. It's that you may, if you choose, become one of us. We speak the unheard languages, Samoon, and her vast connections. This badge is but one, and you will need to earn more from others who carry them. But if and when you do, the caster will know what you have chosen, you may wear the mask of the machinist. I thank Utari for it, and tell them I have much to consider. But for just a moment, I hear the faintest ringing in my left ear, distant and deep, like a river below the sands. Listen. Oh! <gasps> I can hear! Oh, that's exciting! Is Simoon talking to me? I want to be a machinist, I think. Customize my bike. Okay. That's kind of cool. Kind of looks like a... I kind of like it. All right, let's see. Ooh. Heck yeah, dude. Look at Simoon. She's looking sweet. She's looking fly as fuck. Her face looks like a, a Pokemon. Or not a Pokemon. A Ruby weapon. Final Fantasy VII. Right there. Mm. I like my little ship. Oh, God. Really? That one change makes it so she can't turn for shit. My God. I love her. Was there an option? Ah! I'm sliding. How much money do we have in this game? $370. Or what do they call it? Crafts? Cuts. 370 cuts. What do you mean I hear? So the machines can talk. 
apparently, or you, you can hear them kind of thing, and the machinists can talk to them. And I haven't been able to hear Samoon until I got a machinist badge and I heard listen. So, oh, there's a thing. I'm assuming if I get more machinist badges, I can talk to my ship. I need to get up there. Which is <gasps> exciting. Navi's here. <laughs> Fortunately, not nearly as annoying. I need you. Come back. Got him. Is there any more of you? Yep, there's a worm over there. You guys see it? Get the worm! I'm gonna land right here. So I can do this. Aha! Worm! I need you. Hey, worm. Ugh. Camera. Got the worm. What are those worms? No idea. But I collect them. There's gonna be something over there. Wonder if there's gonna be something on top of the crane. There's a worm! Holy crap. How do I get that? Nothing? Come on. Okay. How do I get that worm? I wonder if I get like a flight mode or like more climbing stuff. Like Breath of the Wild. Because holy crap. How do we get up there? that noise yep there's a worm up there I just oh you know what I might if I do it exactly right hold on She won't make it. No. Yeah, it definitely uh, has some aspects of Breath of the Wild in it. That's for sure. Nope. Come on. No. You were right there. Okay. Nope. Nope. I feel like the other side I got closer. Oh! Game bug, let's go. I'll take it. Uh-oh. Shit. I should have done the other one. Land back in the center, please. Oh. Singing was back. Have a good one, Trisha. Thanks for hanging out, my friend. I hope you sleep well. Come on. I don't think I can get this. I think the first part was just pure luck that it bugged out and put me up. 
No. No. Oh, shit. Yeah, I must get more stamina or something. Because it's just out of reach. No! Oh, oh, it almost bugged out again. It launched me up. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, damn it. That would have been great. Oh, well. No such luck. Bummer. All right. Can I save? How do I save? I like my cape. I'm gonna keep wearing my cape. There it is. Save. <laughs> I just realized I hadn't saved yet. Oh. And there's no, like, save files. It's just one save for everything. Oh! Big stretches. All right, my friends. It's a little bit past stream time. Let's see we can go send some love elsewhere what do you guys say who's discriminating okay hello oh come on twitch no okay that's fine <gasps> yo hold up jb's playing fortnite whoa i didn't think he played fortnite um let's see guys I think we're going to go raid Moira because Moira is a lovely bean and he's, or he's raided me multiple times and I definitely want to go give him some love. He's playing some uh, Overwatch right now, playing Mer- Oh, and it's my 16-month six, six, anniversary, so I'll do that. Woot. Um, but yeah, let's go, let's go raid Moira. Lovely bean, you guys know how this works. Let's get your raid messages out and ready. Um, oh crap, I'm in- I accidentally clicked on a thing on Twitch and now I'm in a, a different chat. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. So, get your sub messages out if you're ready. If you're a sub, there are non sub messages as well. Let's go give uh, Moira our love here. Moira's sugar baby. Lovely bean. Love them very much. Very wholesome streamer and is probably playing with a friend. Maybe. I don't know. If they're playing with blue, then it's just chaos incarnate and I fucking love it. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys had fun. I uh, appreciate you hanging out with me. Dendriana, thank you so much for bringing y'all your uh, chat over here. It means very much. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Remember to spay new to your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyways, I'm Vasive. Thank you one down there is Jada. She's ready for her dinners. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for, so much for letting me be your streamer tonight. I heavily appreciate it. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys all have a wonderful night. And I will catch you guys next time. See ya. Come on, Jay. Let's get some foodies. Fine. <laughs>